the bass No one owes you anything, I think You need a shotgun blast to kick in the ass So paranoid, watch your back So today we're taking a look at the Browse Blades Import Silent Soldier. Now this is a knife based off of one of their popular designs that they produce themselves, also called the Silent Soldier. But Browse produces knives that are a little higher end. Those ones roll in at about $300. This one here, being their import line, is about $69. They decided that they wanted to make their knives a little more accessible to a different consumer base, aka me and uh, this is their offering so let's take a look at this first line of production Chinese knives that Browse is offering alright so let's pop this Bad Jackson open and just kinda take a look at the overall design and construction of this you can see it is flipper tab deployment it does stick out a little bit further than what I normally would like but they did a good job rounding it off it's not jimped but it's got this nice little swoop here that lets your finger get in there and deploy the blade your light switch deployment is gonna fall into the meh category but your push button is going to be definitely a yeah. So clicks right open with that push button deployment. You can see you've got this very utilitarian kind of tactical Warren Cliff blade with a completely flat edge here. Does have a flat grind, almost into kind of like this flat saber grind. You've got some pretty cool swedging across the top of this blade. I really like the way this blade looks from the top. And I know you don't ever really see your blade that way, but I, I like how it looks. You go into some very aggressive jimping here. It's quite prolific, but they did do a nice feature. You can see they rounded off these kind of outside corners, and it allows you to really just lock in here, and it doesn't really tear up your finger, but it does lock in pretty well, more, than, more so than pretty much any other knife that I've ever had in hand. So it really locks into this. Uh, one of the other things you can notice is quite, quite uh, obvious here is this hole in the middle, and that's designed to be held in this very tactical function here. Now, this really does kind of just make the knife a part of you. You saw me punching through that quarter inch uh, ply wood. I guess it's a, technically it's called Luan. But once I was locked into this, this knife was not going anywhere. So I really appreciate this design feature. Um, it definitely does what it's designed to do. And that's to really give you a secure grip on this knife and, and make that knife kind of a part of you. So kind of rolling into how that holds in the hand, let's take a look at kind of just the ergonomics and how this handle is. So it's a smaller knife, which you saw the dimensions when I did the, the spec check, but it does fit in the hand very well. And ergonomically, this thing is comfortable. It, it feels more like a tool than it does a knife. And I know a knife is a tool, but I, I hope that makes sense that it, fits, it feels like that in the hand. Let's take a peek inside here. You can see you've got these milled out steel liners which helps reduce the weight. It is still coming in at about 4.25 ounces, so it's not a light knife by any means. Uh, I guess the best way to summarize this knife is it's small, but it's a, it's a little big knife, and that's straight from Slicey Dicey, so I'm going to give him credit for that, but this is 
This is a de definition of little big knife. It's a little knife, but it's got a big attitude and kind of a big footprint and big profile. All right, let's look at take a look at the handles. This is a polymer handle. Now, I was concerned with looking at the pictures online and seeing what other people have had that this was going to feel like cheap, just terrible plastic, and it, and it doesn't actually. Um, you know, kind of like a scratch test when you scratch plastic, it can kind of feel kind of cheap. This doesn't. It feels very solid. This honeycombing on, they did on the texture for the handle feels nice. It's not too aggressive, but if my hands are wet, I wouldn't worry too much about this slipping out. We'll kind of take a peek in here. You see you've got your liner lock. You're locked in at about 40% there. We'll kind of zoom in a little bit. Uh, this liner is pretty thick, actually, and it goes all the way down in there. You can see it's got a little cutout, but... As I was doing things with this knife that I would never do with a folding knife, and that was like the batoning and the punching through that wood and the throwing it, I was really concerned about bending that liner and having issues with lock up, lock stick, any of those, and nothing. No issues. Is this knife operates just as well as it did right out of the box. So we'll take a peek at the back here. Kind of get you in on there. You can see it has a full back spacer here which is going to be this kind of just this jimped plastic and it, it, it's nice it functions in hand it's not too bad um, I don't know if that actually does anything this knife locks in so well in your hand I think it's just more for the aesthetics to match the rest of the knife so let's take a look at our pocket clip which is a very nicely done pocket clip it's not super deep carry but it's deep carry enough when this is in pocket you can't tell that you have a tactical weapon on you it looks just like a pocket knife so I appreciate how just kind of low profile in design. Not It doesn't shout at you that, hey, look at me, look at me in the pocket. It's, it's very just low profile and inconspicuous. And I would imagine that was part of the design of this knife being called the Silent Soldier. All right, so let's roll in the fit and finish really quick. Now, I'm sure that Browse was a little nervous and a little excited when they said, hey, we're going to make this in China. You know, the facility is halfway across the world. They don't know what they're getting with fit and finish except for, you know, what was told to them. Now these came out and that was a big risk, so let's see uh, how the Chinese manufacturing did. Uh, long story short, they did pretty good. Uh, all the hardware is flush where it's supposed to be, pocket clip is nice and tight, your blade centering is pretty good, not perfect, but nothing to write home about. I wouldn't complain about that, I'm just showing you guys to show you. Your deployment is good, your bearings operate really well, they're not gritty, nothing too concerned about. Your light switch does leave a little bit to be desired. Let's you can see there, um, that's a little disappointing. I mean, you can still get it. I was a little light on the first one, but but push button, very snappy. Very well done with the push button. Um, your detent's really good. You're not clicking this open. You can see I'm kind of just giving it a pull test. There we go. Uh, the handle's done really good. All your plastic, let's see there. All your plastic meets up really well. There's no flashing from the mold showing. So overall fit and finish on this guy was really good. It was sharp out of the box. There's only one gripe that falls into a nay. So, so far everything's been pretty much yay on this knife. Deployment with the light switch was a meh. There's only one nay on here and I'll show you that real quick. And that's going to be with the grind. And now it doesn't affect the function, but if you're a stickler for this kind of thing, this is something I want to show you. You can see right here, right in the center frame on the blade grind, there's a little bit of unevenness. I think it's a little more noticeable on the other side. Yeah, there it is. See that right there? Just a little bit. You can see it's a little bit of an uneven grind running in on this side. This side's not so bad. But it doesn't bother me. Not too much. I mean, it's a $69 Browse knife. Um, that's something I'm, I imagine that they'll, they'll catch on to and they'll correct quite uh, quickly. So that's your uh, fit and finish out of the box is overall a yay with just a couple little things to pick at. Okay, so let's just do a quick size comparison so you guys can get an idea of what this little big knife means when I say that. So real quick, let me grab a little knife. It's going to be, we'll grab the Benchmade Griptilian. And you can see that actually the Browse is smaller overall in length than the Griptilian. So you're thinking small knife, right? So this is the one I just got done modding this. I'll, I'll cover that maybe in a future video. So smaller than the Griptilian, however, you put it next to the Manix 2. Let's close these up. So now we got it up to the Manix 2, and you can kind of see that it's got oh, actually a slightly larger footprint in the pocket that way, and a significantly larger footprint that way. 
So we'll go over those. I'll throw the widths uh, this way and the width that way up on the screen real quick just to kind of give you guys an idea. So it does have a big footprint and has a big knife feel to it. Uh, but it is a small, it is a smaller knife. So it's, it's just kind of an interesting little category that this thing fits into. All right. So now that we got all that stuff out of the way, size comparison, fit and finish, uh, initial impressions. Let's, let's talk about this knife and what Jack farm boy thinks about this knife. This was not a knife I was anticipating that I would keep around. I thought maybe I could review it and if I didn't like it, I could get rid of it and sell it. But honestly, I think I'm going to keep this in my collection. It's a very unique knife that I don't have. Uh, I don't see myself using this as a tactical self-defense thing at any point in my life. That is not, I'm not about that with knives. I think of knives as more as tools and just something to appreciate with manufacturing. But it's such a cool knife. I actually, carrying it around and using it kind of made me appreciate this knife for what it is. And it, it is a nice kind of hard use knife. And I didn't expect it to fill that category I expected it to be almost a kind of a, just a showpiece, and it really is. I mean, this if you have this in your collection, chances are you're probably not going to carry it around every day unless you're into self-defense and you're in a maybe law enforcement or something along those lines. And I kind of want to keep this just to have a brass blade and just something very different for my collection. Overall, it's a very well-done knife, and I'm I'm pretty happy with it. I became quite infatuated with it over the week that I was carrying it, so much that I didn't really carry anything else. The only time I carried something else was when I was going to work. I carried just a little small knife on me. So this is something that I grew to like. I didn't expect to, and I'm very fond of. So overall, I would say this Browse Blades is definitely a yay. All right, guys, I hope I covered everything. If you have any questions, by all means, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. Hope everyone's doing great. We'll see you all really soon. Got some cool stuff coming. Stay tuned. Thanks, guys.